If you stay until the end of this video, you'll learn how you can build a real, fully usable website or application without having any special skills at all, just by explaining your idea in simple, natural language. Imagine this. You describe your idea in only a few short sentences, and right in front of your eyes, that exact idea turns into a complete, professional, and fully interactive design. This is exactly what this tool is built to do for you. Replit is a platform that allows you to create real, functional outputs using nothing but natural language, without any need for technical knowledge, programming experience, or design expertise. you're not required to know anything in advance. All you need to do is clearly explain what you want to build, and the system takes care of the entire process for you. In less than two minutes, you can generate a complete, visually beautiful, and fully interactive design that is ready to be tested and presented. Without any design skills and without any technical skills, just by writing a few simple sentences, a full website, landing page, or digital project is created with a quality level comparable to the work of a senior professional designer. Replit can be used both on desktop and on mobile devices, with full support for iOS and Android, which means wherever you are, your creation tool is always right in your pocket. Now I'm entering Replit, so you can clearly see just how simple, fast, and smooth the entire process really is. You can access the platform using the link in the description. This is the main dashboard of the tool where everything starts. By clicking on the Sign Up option, you simply enter your email address and create your account in just a few seconds. After creating your account, you immediately gain access to all the main features and tools. This is your personal workspace, the place where every idea you have can turn into a real product. The two main sections we work with here are called Build and Design. The Build section is focused on logic, databases, turning your designs into real applications, and setting up the backend and API. Whenever you're ready to transform a design into a fully working product, this is the mode you use. The Design section is dedicated to automatically creating the visual interface of your page or app using natural language. Its output is usually an interactive design, landing pages, or clickable prototypes, which makes it perfect when your focus is on layout, structure, and user experience. If you're wondering which one you should start with, the workflow is very simple. First, use design to shape the visual form of your project, and when you're ready to turn it into a real app or add features like login systems, databases, and forms, you switch to build. Inside the build section, you can define the type of your project right from the beginning. Whether the final output is a web application, a mobile app, a data-driven system, a 3D game, or even an automation system with intelligent agents. Now let's talk about theme. This option controls the visual style, color palette, and overall look of your project, including light and dark modes, brand colors, and fonts. And with just one click, you can completely change the default appearance. Then we have attachments, which allow you to upload files such as images, logos, sample designs, or example datasets, so the AI can use them as a direct reference while building your project. On the left side, there is also a menu where you can view all the applications you have created and all the projects you have published. There is also the import code or design option, which allows you to bring in data, designs, or structures from other platforms and directly use them inside your project to continue working from there. Now let's test everything with a real example. Inside the build section, I type this instruction. Make the to-do list app fully functional, so tasks are saved and can be retrieved later. And I select web app as the project type. After starting, the system immediately enters the building process. Then it gives me two clear options. Build the entire app, which creates the full application with complete logic and a working database and usually takes around 20 minutes. Or start with a design, which only generates the visual prototype for testing the look and features, and usually 
usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes. This is exactly the same separation we previously explained between design mode and build mode. I choose the option, build the entire app. Now the system has entered the creation phase and is gradually building the application step by step. While the process is running, I can already test the parts that are becoming available. For example, it has created a task that I can mark as completed, and I can also add new tasks with custom names and detailed descriptions. This is already a very accurate representation of what I asked for, and what's impressive is that it managed to build all of this from just a single sentence. It clearly understands what I had in mind and translates that idea into a practical, working structure. From the top tabs, I can directly access the database. I can also open the logs to see exactly what is happening in the background. I can even adjust the screen size and test how the app looks on different displays. At this stage, I can still change the theme whenever I want. Right now, the theme is set to the default option, and the moment I change it, the entire interface updates instantly. As you can see, when I switch the theme, the changes are applied immediately. If I want, I can also manually customize every menu and every button individually. At the end, there is a publish button that allows you to finalize your project and make it available online. By clicking on it, you can choose whether to publish your project as public or private. For private publishing, you'll need to have a plan in order to fully complete and manage your project from start to finish. Public publishing, on the other hand, is available in the free version. You can apply additional settings and once everything is ready, you simply click publish. After that, the platform automatically deploys your application and generates a link that you can use to access your live working app. This tool is designed exactly for people who want to build fast and professionally. Product managers, designers, marketers, business owners, content creators, people who want a personal website, those who want to create games, interactive experiences or presentations, and even people who have absolutely no technical or design background at all. Compared to traditional website building and design methods, this approach is significantly faster, more flexible, and far more efficient for creating real presentation-ready projects. If you'd like to see a full project-based tutorial using this tool, make sure to write it in the comments. Send this video to someone who has great ideas but doesn't know where to start. And if you haven't followed AI Border yet, follow it right now, because we're introducing tools that multiply the speed of creation. Until the next video, my friend.